you know, it's really hard to explain why things have a profound effect on you, but you just, you feel it in your soul. Hamilton is coming to Disney Plus in July. And I cried. <laughs> um, what up, Broadway nerds? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I hope you are all staying safe and well. Today, I am going to be talking about uh, musicals that have had a profound influence on me as a person. That sounds really weird, but my beautiful friend Jess, who is who moved over to the UK in February, um, wonderful time to have chosen to do that, Jessie, um, has asked me to do this video and talk about some musicals that I love and uh, do like a little review slash talk about what they mean to me. So I have a big stack of programs here. Let's start with, oh goodness, there's a lot here. Which one do I pick? Well, all right, well, let's just go with the top one. Beautiful. So Beautiful is the Carol King musical. Um, I've seen it twice. I saw it in on the West End and here in Melbourne. Um, I think this is the UK program. Hold, wait, wait, where am I? Uh, oh, which theater? Yeah, so this was the London program. Um, personally, I love Carol King's music. I always have. Um, I was first introduced to her with, I'm assuming it would be the Gilmore Girls uh, theme song, so Where You Lead. And Gilmore Girls is my all time favorite show for people who don't know me. Um, and then I kind of just got addicted to her music from there. She's got such beautiful songwriting abilities, which is what I like in music, which is probably why I like musical theater. Um, but this is her story and I found it that I connected to the show a lot in terms of creating work and um, just her, like the way her story is told. So um, this would be one of my favorites. Waitress here, oh, her playbill from New York when we saw Waitress with Betsy Wolf, who I'm now obsessed with. Um, not in a creepy stuff way, just that I think she's really talented and, and gorgeous and um, we saw her opening night when we went and I loved, loved this show. I mean, I loved the music before I even saw the show, but this is my new dream role. Everyone knows this. I've said it multiple times. Um, to play Jenna would be an absolute dream. Hamilton. Guys, Hamilton is coming to Disney Plus in July. I will cry with joy. Um, I have, obviously I have a program. I saw it in the UK. Um, you know, as most of us have, I've seen a cheeky bootleg of the uh, original cast, but this is going to be filmed for us specifically yeah. with the original cast. I cannot wait. I mean, me and my best friend listened to this on repeat for months and months and months, and I can still just put it on and listen to the whole thing. It takes hours to get through the whole soundtrack, but this one, oh, it's... Lynn manuel Miranda is a genius. The other two I have here before I get to my original ones and we're getting close, we need to wrap this up for 10 minutes, but um, Priscilla, which is obviously having a big impact on my life right now. Um, I really enjoyed the show, obviously. Um, I still haven't seen the movie, but I loved the show. It was a really good night of theater going out. Um, I have a vlog from opening night of Priscilla last year, which I will also put a link up top. Um, but with everything going on at the moment, obviously we were in rehearsals for this. We were supposed to be going on, we were supposed to be on at the moment. Um, we should have had two weeks of shows already and been doing our final show week now. But obviously with COVID, everything got pushed. So I feel like this Priscilla is going to have a big spot in my life for the rest of, for the rest of my life. Because now we're just waiting, like we're, we're on hold. It will go on and it will go on eventually. Maybe in October, maybe next May, depending on what happens in the world. But hopefully October, but I feel like this now has a big impact on life because of it. And Kinky Boots. I love Kinky Boots. This is a great, great show. Um, I saw it three, I want to say I saw it three times here. Um, I have to really love a show to be willing to pay to go and see it multiple times. I mean, the first time uh, we... The show I was doing end of 2016, 20, oh, end of 2016, <laughs> I was doing a show with, um, what show was I doing? Oh my God. Um, end of 
2016, I was doing Catch Me If You Can and with a very small company who was um, associated with the Rocky Castle Group. Um, nothing to do with him. He did not produce it or anything, but his assistant, you know, helped run this company that we we're with. So he um, got us in and we performed at the inaugural AFL Pride Day game uh, with the cast of Kinky Boots. And so then they invited us to come see the show in previews and again it has a special place in my heart because we got to do special things for the show. So my two main ones which would be Phantom and Wicked. So these are two big ones for me, like really big ones. Um, Phantom was obviously my first real introduction to theatre. I mean it was the movie but we'll get past that. Um, I saw this in 2007, my mum snuck me out of uh, school for the day and we went to the matinee and saw um, this show and this was that, that particular, this is the program from that particular show from one in Melbourne and then I've also seen it three times on the West End and once in New York. Ooh, I have seen it a lot. Um, goes to show, things I've seen multiple times in the theatre a big deal for me, um, especially Phantom. This is my all-time favourite, this is my all-time goosebumps. Every time the chandelier goes up, I just get goosebumps all over myself. <laughs> um, wanted to be Christine for a really long time. Never gonna happen, I'm not built for it, my voice is not built for it, but this is a winner. And then Wicked. Wicked I've seen 11 times and been in it and did a three-week run. This is our program from Clock. Um, Still program. And then this is from the first time I went to see it here in Melbourne. Um, and this we saw with Rob Guest before he passed away during this show. Um, Wicked again. One of my all time favourites. I, when they announced that Clock was doing it, I got so excited and I went to audition. I was like, I'll never get in. It's not going to happen. And I did. And I cried. <laughs> um, I did not know what to do with myself when they, the president called me and was like, I'd like you to come be part of the ensemble. Um, I was nannying at the time, I'm looking after this kid and I'm like, I don't know what to do, what do I do with myself? I literally said to him, I'm like, are you kidding? And he was like, no, this is not a joke. And I was like, I think he thought I was like, um, ensemble, no. Uh, but no, I was like, are you kidding? I was like, yes, yes, I'll come, absolutely. Um, I said the same thing when they called to ask me and be Priscilla. Yes, yes, I'm coming. Because um, these guys, their shows are just so great to do. Um, and I will always, always be grateful to the production team that let me into to do Wicked because it was my favourite show I've ever done in my life. There are some other shows that, you know, I've loved every show that I've done, but this, this was a big one. Um, and seeing it, you know, we used to go and do the lottery in my first year out of high school, so it was like nine. We go and we do the lottery like at like at least once a week. Entertainment, we love doing that. I wish there was more lotteries. There is a wicked lottery, not wicked. A Harry Potter lottery, but it's not the same thing. So anyway, those those. Um, you know, it's really hard to explain why things have a profound effect on you, but you just you feel it in your soul, like you do with any show. You have those moments where you just are so sucked into it that you can't do anything else, but fall in love and want to see it over and over and over again. So those are the ones that I think have had the most effect on me. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Those were my shows that I love. Leave a comment below of the shows that have had a profound effect on you. Um, if you like, share this around with your friends. Subscribe to the channel for more content down there. Hit the bell icon so that you get notifications when I post new videos. And that's it. I will see you next week um, on the channel and on the vlog later this week. So see you, bye.